Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and these are mining rigs! So you might be wondering what kind of video this is. Well, it's not a guide on how to build these monstrosities. Instead, it's a brief overview of what some friends of mine did to construct their own cryptocurrency mining rigs. Keep in mind that these are not the absolute and only way to build a rig. There's lots of many different ways of doing this sort of stuff. Starting off with the frame of the system are some of the angled aluminum cut to a specific size and held together by either nuts and bolts or by using rivets. Okay, so the rivets might be a little too fancy, but you get the point. In terms of what drives the hardware, you only really need a basic CPU, RAM, and hard drive. None of that multi-threaded or high-speed dual-channel business. You do, however, need a motherboard with a lot of PCI Express slots. The more slots you have, the more cards you can add. And then, of course, you need enough power to power all these cards on maximum. Many of the rigs will run two power supplies that have an adapter to start both of them at the same time. Connecting the cards to the motherboard is typically done by using a PCI Express ribbon riser cable. This allows the card to be further away from the board and is able to be plugged into every single slot. Another type of connection is the PCI Express to USB connector. This allows for longer runs to the board and is more space efficient. Having an efficient power supply means less electricity is wasted and that's going to save you money. More space between the cards means better airflow to dissipate the heat that is generated. Cooler cards have a higher hash rate. Higher hash rate means more coins can be mined and hopefully you can make your money back as quickly as possible because each one of these rigs is about two to $3,000 depending on how you configure it. So I do plan on building one of my own rigs and I'm going to go with the less traditional material. Yes, that's right. You are looking at a frame made of wood. I'll be getting my hands on a prototype wooden frame made by some friends of mine who want to sell a cost-effective DIY kit. In case you were wondering, this particular frame is made from cedar. Be sure to subscribe to see in more detail what that build is going to be like. I'll do my best to answer all your questions that you're going to post down below in the upcoming build video. As always everyone, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, go for it. Thank <laughs> you.